Hey, I couldn't find much information online in Spanish and nothing in English uh, about what I'm going to discuss and show today. So I thought some people may find uh, this place interesting. Uh, Manzanillo is the largest port in Mexico. And from what I've been told, which makes sense, a key point for uh, bringing in contraband, fentanyl, methamphetamine, etc. The city seemed very safe when uh, Ali and I visited last week, uh, but it's also safe to assume that uh, there are, are probably some important people living in Manzanillo and in the state of Colima uh, and operating there in terms of moving sought after product from the port into the United States, which brings me to Casa Abandonada. Ali and I just lucked into finding Casa Abandonada while we were looking for some good hiking in the area. We definitely found it interesting and worth the visit. I wish this site was better promoted because this was our favorite thing that we did in Manzanillo. The house is interesting, but the whole area has awesome hiking and amazing views. I'm going to show some video of the hike and the house and talk a little bit about what I learned about this house and the area. As you can see, the house is covered in graffiti. So before it became a tourist attraction, it was apparently a studio for artists. Moving past the graffiti, and based on uh, the construction, it was clearly intended as a hotel or to provide separate apartments. Each floor is essentially the same, similar bathroom with the kitchen or kitchenette and bedrooms. Every floor has tremendous views of the bay and the ocean, and there are several terraces offering sweeping views as well. I think it has about six floors. It was just a maze of staircases as it was built onto the downward slope of the hill. So the terraces are staggered and several apartments have their own large terraces overlooking Manzanillo. The information that I found about the history of the house was this was one of Rafael Caro Quintero's properties. He was the founder of the Guadalajara cartel. You may remember him as an important character in the Netflix series, Narcos Mexico. You can look him up or watch the series to learn more about him. Generally, what happens is that if a person owns property in Mexico that the government believes was purchased using illegal funds, then the attorney general can submit to have the properties forfeited to the government. And I believe that's what happened here. However, I've also heard another story that the owner of the property had issues getting electricity and water to the property, then ultimately ran out of money. It's really strange that no definitive information can be found on this property. It seems that there should be some paper trail with ownership of the land. But I searched the, uh, the interwebs best I could and came up with several answers, none of which seemed sure they were correct. The house has been abandoned for 30 years or more. And now if you show up at the entrance, there is a small parking lot, a table set up, and a guy charging 20 pesos to continue up the trail towards the house. The 20 pesos is apparently used for the conservation of the house and the area. There are a few small signs with arrows pointing towards Casa Abandonada, but otherwise there isn't anything that states this is a tourist site or hiking area that you can visit, or that there is parking near the entrance and that there is a fee to enter. Not only is the house worth the visit, there are several hours worth of trails and other viewpoints on 
Huluapan Hill. You can see all of the Bay of Santiago and the beaches of Playa La Boquita, Playa Miramar, and Playa Oro, and then out to the Santiago Peninsula, which separates the Bay of Manzanillo from the Bay of Santiago. Make sure you keep an eye on where you are going as you can get lost among the trails. To get there, you can drive directly to the entrance to the trail leading to the house, found on Google Maps as Casa Abandonada La Cumbra, or you can follow the trail that starts at Puente La Boquita, we'll get it at the far end of the beach Playa La Boquita. It's about a three kilometer hike, gaining roughly 800 feet in elevation and takes 30 or 40 minutes. Don't forget to bring water, sunscreen, and bug spray. Okay, thanks for watching.